Hello, hello, hello. So I'm in a different spot. I'm in my closet. Um, just thought I'll come in my closet because I have uh some pickups that um I am showing. I can now finally do the rest of my I guess my Christmas gifts and a beauty um buy. I guess if you want to call it, and then show you uh, a toothpaste that I'm using. So, this is my hair. Just want to show y'all my locks. <laughs> I wore a headband yesterday, so that's why it's kind of pushed back. But I got my hair done on December 11th, uh, the day before my daughter graduated from college. And I don't go back until January 9th, but... So far, my scalp has been doing good. It's not bad. But this is my frizzy Nina's. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, a new toothpaste I've been using. And it's called David's. Y'all probably seen this if y'all went to uh, Whole Foods. So I just started using it the past week. And so far, so good. This is what it looks like. It comes with this little pin so that you can roll it up to squeeze all of it out it is um an all natural toothpaste uh the the peppermint in this when i first used it was like whoa but it's not so bad now i guess i've gotten used to it and this is the i don't know if y'all can see ah this what happens when um I don't know if y'all can see the ingredients, but just look it up, David's Toothpaste. This is about $10, I think. I paid for it. So, yeah. and it, It's fluoride-free, sulfate-free, peppermint essential oil blend. And it has some others. a 5.2-ounce tube. I'm the only one that uses this, so I'll have it for a while. But, again, um, I got it from Whole Foods. This is the beauty box that I've been getting for since, I want to say, the spring. It's called Boxwella. I really do like Boxwella because you get to try different green beauty brands um, for only $49.99 a month. And that's with shipping. And it's every other month. So, say you get the box in September. You won't get another box until November because it's every other month. They send you um, every box, every other month. You get your um, products in a box like this. Some of them are bigger. Some are smaller, depending on what they're sending you. The last two boxes, they only sent one thing because um, it was from a company that's very, very, very expensive. The first time they sent the oil and um that's in my bathroom i didn't think to bring it but this this first time they sent the oil the second box they sent the face serum and both of those um at, the oil is 265 dollars retail for one ounce and the serum is 165 dollars so those were the only ones that was in the box but normally they send two but again, those were very expensive. So for fifty dollars with the oil, you got a two hundred and sixty-five dollar product. But this month, and they send different companies. Every box is a different company. It's not the same um, Green Beauty company. And what Green Beauty is, is that they don't use. They're not supposed to use any like chemicals, or um products you know they source their products from uh farms uh that don't use pesticides and chemicals and anything like that and so that's what they proud their self on now of course some of them you know do say that and you know they don't do the right thing but anyway they send this this card telling you about the product that's in the box so that's a good thing. And then this is what the box looked like. So they packaged it very nice. It's a lot of thought that goes into 
the packaging of these and the company this month was for December was Earthwise Beauty and they sent the Resiliency Face Serum and I think this box is is I know this box is valued at over a hundred dollars I'm just not sure so they sent the face serum and this is the bomb and I needed another bomb because I ran out of my May Lindstrom so it came in this carton and then wrapped in this uh, tissue paper and it's the Yasuni face bomb it's a feather light bomb for sensitive skin which I do have reactive sensitive skin you don't really have a smell this is how we look and with these face bombs when I tell you, you only need a little you only need a little as you'll be greasy and um, let me show you the I did use the serum today but I did not use the face bomb because I wanted to unwrap it on camera and this is kind of jelly like so I don't want to spill this all over the place Ooh. and this it has like an orangey citrus type it's a wet like type jelly serum so I'll see how what am I going to do with the box? Whatever. I'll look for that later. But So that's the Box Sweller box. If you're interested, they are on Instagram. Um, it's boxsweller.com. Box, they are on Instagram. They answer any questions. Very nice group of people. Um, they also have with the Box Sweller, it's a face um box a book box and i think like a foodie type box it is like snacks or stuff i believe so they got three different boxes and they all are three different prices as well but i don't i'm particular on the books that i read and i don't need to order snacks every other month so of course the face box is good for me and again, it's $49.95, $49.99 every other month, not every month. They do have beauty boxes that are every month. But um, for now, I'm sticking with the box well, and I've been liking them. And there are some things that I felt like, uh, like the oil, the $265 oil. I don't think my skin is quite working for it, but I did like the serum. It kind of kept my reactive skin at bay. But I don't think I would go out and buy it. But it was nice to be able to try for 50 bucks. Um, they had another one called 12 Beauty that I really did like. And I really do like their clay mask. Uh, I forgot what else they sent us with the 12 Beauty. It was two products. So I can't go back all at once because I can't remember. But for the most part, I've been very pleased with the Boxweller box so far. So here goes my Christmas gifts that my husband bought for me. Of course, I picked out, told him I want it, and he got for me. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already probably seen this. But if not, you're going to see it now. I do plan on doing a 2018 sneaker by what I bought for 2018. And again, I'll probably film it for my closet because I've bought... 22 or 23 pairs of sneakers from January to December of 2018 and I'm not about to drag all of this into my bathroom or out of this closet um, so here's the box very nice box that's the size because it's um these are made in Italy and it's an Italian company off-white by Virgil Abloh and the SB is just for a shoebox. <laughs> That's just his style. And so these are one pair. He did a collab with Converse. Where he did a Converse pair with the off-white on it. And let me show you. I just want to kind of cut some of y'all may not be familiar with the off-white brand. So he did a collab with Nike. He did, I think, 20 shoes. 
He did the first one 2017 and then he did the second set 2018. This is um, one of his 2018, I believe, shoes. This is the second Vapor Max that he did with um, Nike. I did not get the first one. I bought the Blazers on the first um, from the first pack. This is from the second pack, but on all of his collabs, this writing is put on the on the shoe. And so on the um on the converse, that's what you would have on the shoe. This is the blazer from the first collab. And as you see, the writing is on the shoe. So with the converse, it has this writing, whatever it is. And this is the blazer. And that's what I got last year for Christmas. Was the off-white um blazer and then this year I think my husband got me these for um, Mother's Day that I wanted so th that's the off-white Nike collection and on his collections he you will have this when he collabs with another company this is what you will see on the shoe now on his own he has his own line and that's what his line is called, Off-White. He sells clothes, socks, belts, sneakers, shoes. And so he doesn't put that branding on his um, own stuff because you already know it's Off-White. You know? So um, this is his Off-White. It's similar to the Converse, except for the Converse has the right in. It has the um, it has an orange bottom. It does have this on it, so if you just, you could just look it up. And his materials are um, really good materials. Um, this is suede. This is like a suede. Very good materials on his um products you know his also his signature is the um zip tag the zip the zip tag right here so that's why anything that's off white you're gonna always see this zip tie on his um stuff and then on the shoelaces you'll always see it'll say shoelaces <laughs> even on the Nike collab so that's like his signature so I got these, which I do like. Have not worn them yet, but I did wear these when we was on vacation in Dallas. And so, again, another off white. The size you see the picture of the shoe on this one. And then again, it'll say SB, and that stands for shoe box. This one comes with a bag, although I don't think the shoes are going to fit in this bag, so I'm not sure why they came with that. And I also want to say with Virgil Abloh, it is a high-end line, like kind of like Gucci, Louis Vuitton. His stuff is very high-end, very well-made, very good materials. So that shoe that I just saw you, the Converse lookalike was two seventy. Um, I got them. I got both of these from Neiman Marcus, and the guy gave me. They was running a sale. Now, if you go online, you would not. You, I was not able to put the sale price in because I just tried it just to see messing around. But they had it in a store in Dallas at a Neiman Marcus, and I wanted to go try it on to see how the size fit, and I liked them. So my husband bought them for me, but, um, he was like, I can give you, it's $50 off of 200 and a hundred dollars off of 400. So I got $50 off the shoe. So with tax, it came to like 240, something like that. And then I also got, um, money off on these because I signed up like they email notice you get 15% off. So these are his um, sneaker boots. It's Velcro. This is the size. This is a Italian 8. So 
size 8 in the U.S., but 41 in, in Italy sizing. Just in the inside, it has the off-white. That's his signature sign as well, is the X. This is the X. Then his signature zip tie. Blue laces. They didn't come with any other laces. The Knights come with usually like three, four packs of laces. On the shoelace, it says shoelace on it. That's another signature of his. And I like these. They're very comfortable. They look weirder in, you know, holding them up, but they look very nice on foot. So these are them. It has the red arrow on the bottom that is on the thing right here. And if you want to see them on my feet, you just go to my Instagram, LaShawn Terry. It has a rigid bottom on it. And then right here, it has the off-white And these are retail for 700 Yeah, um, again, his stuff is considered high-end. Um, I like the off-white brand. I like his collabs. And with his collabs with Nike, those shoes are very, very hard to get. I had to pay resale for both of my, uh, my blazers and my vapor mats. And retail, I paid 700 um, not retail, resale prices. I got both of them from Flight Club and they were 700 each. Whereas retail on them are, I think the Vapor Max is 200, 190, and the Blazers is like 130. But they're so hard to get. The resale value is very high. So you got to pay to play, right? So though, that's my Christmas gift. And my beauty buy. Um, that's all I bought as far as like beauty. I, of course, I didn't buy any hair products because I'm locked. Um, and that's it. So look out. I'm going to try to do it before the end of the, of the new of the December for the sneaker, my 2018 sneaker purchases. So just be on the lookout for that. Peace. I got to go get dinner. Locks. Bye.